Yeah. Right. Chief AI officer, I've seen a number of times, or AI ethics officer. But what I think is very common is, and, and Shay, feel free to add and talk to this, but one of the, the people that end up coming to us quite often is an existing role or function in the organization, whether it's like your general counsel or you're just your chief compliance officer. And then they've been handed this, you know, this new responsibility that is like AI compliance or AI risk. And, and it's just like, oh, here's your the next thing you have to do. But like, you know, we're, we're just hitting on a couple of examples and it's yep. likely a monumental task that takes years of understanding, you know, both the, the technology side of it, but then the, uh, the social side of it. Yeah. I mean, this is why, so this is why I feel like we end up, we meaning Babel end up being very good at this, partly because we are auditors. And so we pay very careful attention to all the details in our other side of the house, you know, and so we really care about looking through the law, looking through the standards and just paying attention to the details. But we're also educators, you know, and we and scientists, a lot of us or like at least have scientific kind of rigorous thinking. And so we are we are we default to like boiling things down to first principles and making things simple so that they can be communicated to other people. And that's what our training is about. That's what our internal training for our team and the onboarding is about. It's all about can you get rid of, filter out things that don't matter, focus on things that do matter most at this time, and do it in a way that you ha have a mental, like a conceptual framework, a procedural framework for like moving constantly forward. And that's what people are missing because it's not like any of this stuff is rocket science. It's not rocket science. It's just... You have to clear away all of the crap because if you look at a list like this how 100 page MIT thing, you're going to be like, oh my God. But the reality is not all of that is relevant for you. Not all of that is relevant for anybody. Some of it is like speculative. Some of it's just like this could happen. And depending on your use case, depending on your jurisdiction, depending on your team and your needs, you have to be able to filter, 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 and which is the name of the game, I think, in the world of like unlimited intelligence at your fingertips is filtering is the thing that is the valuable thing. And so what we're good at is filtering. And so it's like you come in, you scope what is relevant to you, you filter all of that information down and you say, here's the, here are the steps you need to take that are like, this is the highest ROI, this is the next highest ROI, and get to the point as quickly as possible where you can allow people to innovate internally and not do the shadow AI and go off to their home and chat GPT and stuff.